What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in this video we're going to talk about using scenes to save views in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So as always, I do want to say, take a second and thank my supporters on Patreon. Um, you guys are what keeps this channel going, and uh, I do really appreciate the fact that you guys decide to uh, support the channel. Um, if you're interested in supporting the channel on Patreon, if you like what I'm doing, make sure to check out that link in the notes below. All right, so I just wanted to make a quick video. I'm talking about how to save views and scenes in SketchUp. I've talked about this a little bit in the past. I do want to focus a little bit more on where that might be useful for like woodworkers, but um, this is useful information for everyone else as well because this is the best way to navigate quickly through your model. So um, if you notice, you might spend a whole lot of time in your model going back to different views. So like for example, I've got this table model that I've downloaded in here. Um, and uh, model credit, I got that out of the 3D warehouse. That's Kitchen, Table, and Chairs by Scott J. Stricker. But so basically what you have in here, and I'm going to go ahead and remove my default model is what you have in here is you have a table and chair model that like let's say for example you might want to come in here and you might want to like do create the different parts and pieces um, if you were going to create them in woodworking you might want to see them separately there's a lot of different reasons why you would want to save some views another might be you just might have a good camera view that kind of shows your table better and uh, you may want to be able to navigate back to that quickly so the easiest thing you can do saving views is just go up to view animation and add scene as soon as you click add scene that's gonna save your view and you can see how up here on the top that adds a little tab for scene one and so now no matter where I go in my model no matter what I do you know where where I uh, orbit that sort of thing now if I click on that it's gonna take me back to that view so and I can do that as many times as I want. Like, let's say I wanted another scene. I would just right click and click add to that new scene. Now I can click between the two of them in order to kind of save those scenes to be able to navigate between them quickly. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to create another camera view. And let's say, like, for example, that I wanted the kitchen chairs hidden. And you can see if I go down in the outliner, you can see how my model is grouped. So in this case, I've got chairs, legs, um, supports, and tabletop. Well, what I can do is I can just come in here and right click on my kitchen chairs and I can click hide and then I can add a scene. Well, now if I click between the two of them, my first scene has the chairs. My second scene doesn't because it's saving the hidden version of this or the visibility version of this. And so what you can do is you can use that to create scenes where you can see different parts and pieces the way that you want to see them. Like, let's say another good example is you can also do this with layers. So, like, let's say, for example, that I wanted to create a layer for all the table legs. So, I could create a layer for table legs. I could put my table legs group on the table legs layer, and I could turn that off, and then I could add a new scene. So now I'd have a scene over here with the legs on, with the legs off, with the chairs on. So you can see how it's really easy to kind of save and cycle between the different visibilities. And you can also label all of those scenes. So you can see how right now these show up as scene one, two, three, and four. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the scene manager in our tray, and we're actually going to name those. So like, for example, scene one is actually all on with chairs All right scene three was table only and scene four is table only no legs whoops and so you can see how as I type these in here they're changing up above so now I can see this is my view with all on with chairs this is my table only this is my table only with no legs. And so you can get as in depth with this if you want. You can also do things like when you add annotations to an item or when you, uh, when you add dimensions, you can add dimensions on a certain layer and then turn that on and off as well. Like let's say, for example, that I wanted a layer that only showed my tabletop, none of these supports, nothing else. So what I could do is I could come in here 
and I'm gonna go ahead and hide these with the outliner just uh, just for uniformity's sake in this case but what I would do is I would create a layer for table top dimensions well then you could do a shift click and select those two dimensions and put them on the tabletop dimensions layer and so now what you could do is you could create a scene so you could just right click and you could add a scene and we're going to call this tabletop with dimensions and we're going to have that dimensions layer on well what we want to do is when we when we go back to our original layer you can see how these dimensions are on here well you may not want those what you can do is you can uncheck the box for the table top dimensions in your layers section so you can turn that layer off and then you can right click and you can update your view so in this case now what I have is I have a view with a tabletop with dimensions I also have this overall view that doesn't show the dimensions and a little bit of planning is usually a good idea when you're doing this because otherwise you may have to come back and update all of your different views in order to not be showing those dimensions anymore but it's still pretty easy to be able to do that so you can see how it would be really easy to come in here and create a whole series of different views for different things so and not not only can you use the update function to update what visibility or what things are visible in your model you can also use it to update your camera view like let's say for example I wanted to adjust this all on with chairs so it was this view well I would just rotate my camera to whatever view I want I would right click on it and I would click update so now when I click on that all on with chairs it's got that new camera angle incorporated in here so there's a lot of different things you can do with this and probably the biggest one is you're, you're really going to want to figure out what views you keep going back to and you're going to want to save those so you don't have to keep navigating back to whatever views um, you had on there before. And there's some other options in here as well like you can see how I can manage each one of these views by clicking on it in the scenes manager. Well you can also set if those views um, save your camera location or your hidden geometry or your layers that sort of thing so you can actually adjust some of these in some cases you may not want you may not want to save with your like you you may just want to adjust a style and not have it save your camera location or something like that so there's a lot of different options for this and then the other thing you can do is you can also move these left and right either here or you can move them up and down over here in your scene section so you, you can adjust what order these are in here so if I wanted to move that to the left for example I can do that or to the right I can use that to reorder all of these so you can see how just by right clicking on these and just selecting move left or move right then I can move then I can move these around and put them in the order that I want and then the last thing I'm only going to touch on a little bit is creating animations and I've got some more detailed tutorials on creating animations but basically if you go to view animation and you click play SketchUp will create an animation where it cycles between your different views and you can set different views to on and off if you want to but you can use this to create an actual fly through animation or that sort of thing and then you can also come in here and you can set your options so you can adjust how quickly it cycles between your scenes and everything else by going up to view animation and settings and if you check this box it means that it's going to animate the transition between those different scenes and then you can set how long those transitions are as well as how long it delays between the different transitions uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought did you like this video was it helpful to you um, did I leave off something you would like for me to talk about just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys uh, if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week if you like what I'm doing on this channel please consider supporting me on patreon every little bit helps even if it's only a dollar a month that just helps me keep bringing you great sketch up content but in any case thank you so much for taking the time to watch this I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.